Andrew McGahan for the MacLife.com here in gloomy Gdansk, days away ahead of UFC Fight Night 118 Cerrone versus Till, which is taking place in the Ergo Arena on Saturday night. I am joined by the wonderful John Balf here in Gdansk. We've decided to take him out of Dublin, bring show him Europe. John, are you backing me up here? Gloomy Gdansk, we're going with that. Well, it's not the time of year for perfect weather here in Gdansk, let's be honest. But sure, we're Irish, we're used to it, aren't we? Exactly. So, um, Let's get straight into it. The main event, Donald Cerrone and Darren Till. But when we were speaking to Till, he seems to be really radishing the fact that nobody gave a fuck about him a year ago because he was away in Brazil. Nobody cared in the UK MMA scene. Then he comes back, now he's winning, and now he's the main event. This is the most pressure he's ever faced on his shoulders before a fight. It seems to be the most pressure, for sure. But the thing is about Darren Till, he's still an unknown quantity, really, for a lot of people in the in this welterweight division. Uh, he's, you know, Everyone knows he's fought the first 12 bouts of his career in Brazil. So he was sort of off the scene of the UK-European mixed martial arts scene that we're used to, uh, but don't sleep on this guy. This guy is a serious, serious competitor. He mightn't yet have the main event status with his name, but his skill set, I think, is right up there with anyone else in the welterweight division. From speaking to Cerrone, he made a point of saying, like, the best thing about Till, despite the whole rhetoric that, yeah, I don't know who this guy is, he could walk into my gym, I don't care who he is. Right. He said, like, I really respect the fact that he took this fight, mainly bigging himself up. He's like, I don't know who this guy is, but you have to respect this guy's balls that he took a fight against me on such short notice that he's going to go in and maybe even get humiliated. Well, that's the thing. I don't think Darren Till is overawed by this. Yeah, and none of the the question or the answers he gave at today's media event suggested that he's he's full of confidence. He knows his own abilities. He's never really he's never tasted defeat in his professional mixed martial arts career. Uh, he's only he says himself he's only had 16 bouts, but that uh, that's the word only doesn't really apply there. That's a serious amount of activity. And prior to that, he's had tens or even hundreds of Muay Thai bites, bites, I should say. So this guy is prepared and uh, Donald Cerrone, if he doesn't know it yet, he's in for a real a real fight this Saturday night. It seems like maybe the time of Cerrone's career where he is literally just fighting, well he's always kind of had that mentality but now he really seems to be backing up that he just wants fight, 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 fight. Maybe getting ready for retirement, he is getting on a little bit in time but this could be the perfect time for someone like Darren Till to capitalise on it and then to make his name off the back of Cerrone's career. Absolutely, like Cerrone's coming into this off two defeats, uh, so any real, he's not really up there in the title picture at welterweight as much as he'd like to be, um, but if you, if you, you know, it's a dangerous bet for him, he said it himself in one of the interviews, if he wins the fight he's expected to win, so no big deal, if he loses, he lost to some guy that a lot of people haven't heard of yet, so big bet for both of them, and uh, they both with various different things on the line for the pair of them. So ergo, a fantastic opportunity for Darren Till this weekend in the ergo arena. So we'll switch, I suppose, to the fight that our eyes are drawn to further down the card. Criminally low down the card, in my opinion, Artem Lobov and Andre Feely. Mm -hmm. Having spoke with Artem last week, he seems to be relishing the prospect of getting back in here and, I suppose, continuing the same sort of theme that we spoke about with Cerrone. Mm -hmm. He's already guaranteed that he's going to fight in November. Um, and he made a pretty sexual pun about it as well. Yeah. Well, Artem, is, Artem would fight tonight, tomorrow night, and Saturday night if they'd let him. So uh, he's, he's one of the most active fighters they have in the UFC. And uh, sure, this is what he likes to do, isn't it? When it comes down to it, though, like seeing Andre Feely being here, this can't be good preparation for him. I know we had a little bit of a back and forth of a right. joke. He originally apparently thought the fight was happening in Portland, not Poland. And that's why he agreed to it so quickly. But <clears throat> coming from the west coast of America, uh, beautiful weather yeah. at Team Alpha Male, to be travelling all the way to Europe. For Artem, it's just a two-hour Ryanair flight, whereas this guy's having to uproot himself so close to a fight. I think we could see that play into effect on Saturday. Yeah, I mean, it's, this isn't an easy place to come to. And like you said, it's a long, a long trip from Sacramento over here. So, uh, you know, we'll see, how they, we'll see how that plays out. If its preparation has been as it should be, these things shouldn't really be a factor. But uh, time will tell. We'll really see that on Saturday night. Artem, we know for sure, is prepared. He's no stranger to traveling for fights. And uh, we'll just see if, this, if it's the same for, for Andre Feely this weekend. Artem has never seemed to be someone who's been phased by pressure, but I'm just wondering, do you think this actually plays into his hands better? You're at the arena earlier, you're fighting maybe before the arena gets as big, mm -hmm. then you're just in and out. I know he is already kind of relishing the prospect of celebrating on Saturday night in Poland. <laughs> I'd, I'd say so. I mean, yeah, you know, listen, I think it, it would have made a lot more sense for the UFC to put this fight on the main card. I mean, Artem, we all know, headlined the last card he was on. And Feely, Feely's got a decent record. He's been around for a while, too. So, it, it, I mean, the placement on the card is strange. But like you say, a lot of guys like to get their fight out of the way and then uh, watch the rest of the card like this. But listen, you, you could speak to Artem. He'll say he'll fight first, he'll fight last, he'll fight, you know, in the car park before the fight if you want him to. That's it, None of that really matters to him. And uh, I think, he'll, like, like we said, he'll show that on Saturday night. Poland, as we know, has become a hotbed 
hotbed for mixed martial arts in the last couple of years. Look at the success of KSW, who are obviously doing an event in our hometown, or our home country, I should say, in Dublin on, on Sunday. So there's a quite a big Polish uh, contingent on the card. You have Karolina in the co-main event. She's a fighter who needs a win if she wants to get back to the top of the contention in, in her division. Uh, you have Jan Blakovic. This is another guy. He's a big star in this part of the world. Uh, and a lot of people a year and a half ago were thinking he could, be, he could go all the way in light heavyweights. He could be one of the top contenders. So he's got an interesting fight. Devin Clark, one of the guys from looking for a fight, I believe. So that's if he, if he wins that, that'll be a fight to bring him back up towards the, the summit of the light heavyweight division. But generally, cards like this, I find it's there's going to be a breakout star somewhere. Someone's going to do something. There's going to be a hell of a knockout or a hell of a submission. And this is the perfect proving ground for someone to show what they're capable of moving forward in their career. I don't want to say that you just moved me, but the wind here is forcing me to cry. So I think we're going to have to wrap this up. UFC Fight Night 118 goes down this Saturday night in Gdansk in Poland in the Ergo Arena, headlined by Darren Till versus Donald Cerrone. A stacked card, if you can say that from top to bottom, at least if not in name value, in what promises to be entertaining fights this Saturday night.